Right. Well, at this time tomorrow, the Orioles will be right smack dab in the middle of their season opener in Tampa Bay. Before the first pitch, the Birds general manager teed up his 2022 expectations of the club. WMR2 News, Sean Stepner, at Camden Yards tonight for us with more. Mike Elias says he views this upcoming season as one of importance, aspiration, and hope. The Orioles general manager thinks his club is on the cusp. This is a team that I believe is uh, you know, very close to getting back in the fight. Not many others around baseball feel the same way. The O's the favorite to finish with the worst record in the majors. Speaking from Sarasota, Elias realizes it's an uphill climb for the birds. We recognize what we're up against to even sneak into a playoff spot this year. Um, you know, that's going to be very challenging. Because their opening day roster, finalized on Thursday, lacks the depth needed to compete in the bigs, not to mention in the American League East. But for Elias, entering not his fourth season process, with the O's, it has never been entirely process, about immediate big league wins. It's always been about rebuilding with prospects on the farm to compete long term. Now we're in a position, despite the struggles that we've been through at the major league level, despite the youth um, and lack of uh, established players on a roster that we have a talented major league roster with a lot of players that have their careers in front of them. Uh, and we're sitting on top of the best minor league system in, in baseball. And those players are getting closer and closer to joining Camden Yards. One of those players, catcher Adley Rutschman, still rehabbing a strained triceps. Elias says the O's top prospect is continuing on a quote, smooth upward path. Elias also says the team is working on a minor league deal with pitcher Matt Harvey, who led Baltimore with 28 starts last season. The 33-year-old with some off-field drama in February. He was a witness in the trial of Eric Kay, the former Angels employee convicted of distributing opioids to pitcher Tyler Skaggs, which led to his overdose death in 2019. Harvey admitted to giving Percocet pills to Skaggs when they were teammates that year. Elias says it's a, quote, very unique situation with Harvey right now, but one that shouldn't prevent him from having another chance with the organization. At Oriole Park at Camden Yard, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News. And